Hello my dear student friends welcome back to my tutorials I hope you are doing well stay home and stay healthy today i have come up with a depository system we are going to understand about what is depository very interesting topic shall we start first let me explain you the concept let me quickly explain you the concept you all are aware about company i'm not defining the company according to companies act just brief explanation i'm going to give company will establish anyhow and it wants capital it wants capital to start without capital it is impossible to start and operate whether it is long term short term i'm not discussing about all these in detail but a company requires a capital it is like a life blood then how can a company raise the capital it can raise the capital from capital market capital market capital market so you know about capital market then who will subscribe the shares or debentures whatever it is the company raise the shares or bonds or debentures whatever it is from the capital market who will subscribe investors obviously who are interested to invest in the company by their shares bonds debentures whatever it is i think you are aware about the difference between bonds shares debentures shares are owned capital bonds debentures are loaned capital anyhow owned capital or loaned capital will be raised by capital market by the company investors will buy the shares bonds or debentures then the question arises where will these shares bonds debentures will be kept 25 years back almost around 20 to 25 years back these shares bonds debentures are available in materialized form materialized form means physical form and the investors have to keep it with them safely after 1990s after 1990s the materialized shares debentures bonds are demateralized 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 and these demateralized demateralized means non physical these demateralized shares bonds or debentures should be held by a responsible institution that is called depository that is called depository your shares for example when you bought a share now which is demateralized totally investors will not keep it with them it should be held by an institute that is called depository this is the concept now let us understand the meaning of depository what is depository depository is a place where financial securities are held in demateralized form it is responsible for maintenance of ownership records and facilitation of trading in demateralized securities one more meaning is there depository in simple terms is an institution 
institution which holds your securities in dematerialized form in this case a depository is an institution which holds your shares government bonds mutual funds etc on your behalf instead of an investor keeping these with them depository will keep it safely that is the meaning of depository let me explain this clearly you all are well aware about a bank bank act as a depository of your money bank act as a depository of your money in the form of deposit accepting deposit might be a fixed deposit demand deposit a recurring deposit so on so in the same way depositories are there who hold your financial securities like shares debentures mutual funds bonds will be held like a bank safely with them they are called depositories as i told financial institutes they hold your financial securities like a bank they are called depositories bank will hold money in the form of fixed deposit demand deposit recurring deposit these depositories hold financial securities i hope you understand and there are two institutes nsdl and cdsl act as depositories in india one is nsdl another one is cdsl nsdl stands for national securities depository limited cdsl stands for central depository securities limited and nsdl deals with nsc national St stock exchange cdsl works with bse it's as simple as it is if i buy a company for example infosys share from nsc my shares are held by nsdl if i buy same company share in bsc stock exchange my shares will be deposited in cdsl these are the two important depositories in india i hope you understand the concept if you have any doubts you can post a comment in google classroom now comes depository participant who is a depository participant dp a depository participant is described as an agent of the depository they are the intermediaries between the depository and the investors and the investor i am interested to buy share as i told i want to buy infosys share shall i directly go to stock exchange nsc and bsc and buy shares i will not get any entry in those stock exchanges fine shall i go to nsdl cdsl i as i explained in the previous slide and buy from the depository not possible then how can i buy shares of infosys i am the investor i can only buy these shares from depository participant the depository participant act as a intermediary between me and the depository he is called depository participant he is an agent or a stock broker like anandrati share khan religeer he is called depository participant and there are only two depositories in india known as nsdl 
and CDSL. This is about depository participant. I hope you understand what is depository and depository participant. Now, shall we move further? Okay, very good. Now, let us understand the objectives of depository. The first very important objective of depository is to remove the occurrences of forgery, duplicate share, share certificates and bad deliveries. So what do you mean by this? When the depositories come into picture, the materialized shares have become dematerialized shares. Nowadays, no investors are buying the dematerialized or physical share certificates and keeping with them. They are buying the dematerialized shares, means non-physical shares and depositories are keeping with them. By doing so, the forgery is completely removed. Duplicate of share certificates are totally removed. Bad deliveries are totally removed. In case if it is physical share certificate, then anyone can easily forgery, do forgery. And it can be easily duplicated. For example, your degree mass card can be easily uh, duplicated if it is in a physical form. Anyone can easily do forgery of your sign and bad deliveries may happen. What do you mean by bad deliveries? If there is any error in the share certificate or if your sign is not matching, if your name is not proper, then your delivery will be rejected. For example, in physical form, it happens, not in non-physical form. In physical form, for example, I want, I'm an investor, I want one share of Infosys. I have put an order with a depository participant. I have to physically fill the application form. I should write my name, my address, everything, how many shares I need and folio number also I have to write. This is a complicated form. This is a complicated uh, process happens in physical form demat i'm sorry materialized uh, system any error any error leads to rejecting my offer by the depository participant that is called bad delivery these bad deliveries are totally removed in this dematerialized form this is the main important objective of depository and the second one to increase the liquidity of securities by making a way for easy transfer in the present moment in the present situation if any investor wants to buy or sell shares just with one click they can buy or sell shares within seconds your account will be credited with share if you buy within a second your account will be debited if you sell shares so by doing so a liquidity happened in materialized form if you want to buy a share you have to go to depository participant you have to issue a check you have to fill the application form write name address everything Submitted, it takes a lot of time, lengthy process. Now, everything is reduced. The third one is, to avoid the delay caused in transfer of securities. No delay happens. T plus 2. T plus 2 means trading 2 trading days. Within 2 trading days, your securities will be transferred. No delay happens. Furthermore, to reduce the cost of transaction for the investor, even the investor also is benefited with the reduced cost of transaction. The depository participant charge less cost because the uh, burden on him is reduced. No paperwork, no complicated filing system, unlike materialized form. Now everything is dematerialized. So, the burden on him is totally reduced, so he has 
reduce the cost of transaction investor also is benefited next one more objective to enable withdrawal and surrender from the securities with great ease i had infosys share i bought infosys share i got some profit after one week i sold my shares within t plus 2 my shares are sold totally and i got my money i got my money within two working days i can easily withdraw my money from my dmat account i can easily go to any <coughs> i can easily go to any uh, atm counter withdraw the money it's very easy so that is one of the very important objective then the last one is to also maintain a perfect record of the holdings for an investor the depository participant will keep all the details of my holdings i need not maintain any holdings he will maintain in electronic form these are the objectives of depository coming to futures of depository system multi depository system is the first important future of depository system what it means multi depository system the depository participant should establish as a company and register according to companies act 1956 or 2013 and also should get a certificate from sebi act 1992 so this is called multi depository system multi depository system means a depository in india we have nsdf and cdsf these two depositories are companies there are companies like infosys tata reliance honda maruti these are the companies which are registered according to companies act 2013 and simultaneously got the certificate from sebi act 1992 so this is called a multi depository system next one is securities in dematerialized form as i explained before no securities are traded in materialized form all securities are traded with dematerialized form <coughs> next one is fungibility what do you mean by fungibility it is a technical word in finance fungibility means capability of substitution try to understand capability of substitution is called fungibility in dematerialized form all the shares are equal all the debentures are equal not like in a materialized form in materialized form a folio number a particular registered number is given for particular security in dematerialized form such kind of folio number nothing is mentioned no identified numbers will be given for shares in dematerialized form so it enables easy transfer of shares from one person to another person next comes parties involved there are four parties involved in depository system one is depository as i told explained in the previous slides depository participant an agent an intermediary between the investor and depository and the beneficial owner that is investor for example see i am the investor i am the investor who bought infosys i am the beneficiary owner of a share and the issuer who is the issuer infosys i have bought share from infosys right so this company is the issuer they are the four parties involved in depository system then free transferability of shares free transferability of shares no complicated legal formalities are involved in the dematerialized form of system 
just with one click you can easily transfer your shares from one to any other no need to take the transfer deed stamp duty is not required you need not pay any check no need just one click you will sell the shares you will buy the shares free transferability of shares and the next one is no stamp duty in materialized or physical form of trading shares you have to take a document fill all the details as i explained uh, in the previous slide you have to write your name everything you have to fill uh, fill all the details and it should be duly stamped and the stamp duty of 0.5% should be paid on the market value of share this complicated procedure is totally removed no stamp duty okay then next no risk no risk in uh, dematerialized form of trading no risk is involved in case of materialized form a physical form of uh, uh, trading there are so many risks involved like bad delivery or uh, uh, there might be duplicate of shares uh, a forgery as i explained all these take place in uh, physical form or materialized form these uh, risks like forgery duplicate share certificates bad deliveries will not take place these risks will not come in the present dematerialized form of trading these are the features of depository system and coming to the role and functions of depository system the first one is quick transfer of securities and funds as i explained once you sold your shares within t plus 2 days after two trading days for example uh, yesterday i sold my shares for example 13th 13th april 2020 i sold my shares infosys for example um, monday yesterday is working day today that is 14th april is holiday because it is ambedkar jayanti then tomorrow wednesday so monday leaving tuesday wednesday t plus 2 means monday and wednesday after two days after monday and wednesday leaving tuesday thursday my funds will be credited in my dmat account i can withdraw the funds okay so this is the first very important function of depository system quick transfer of securities after selling the transfer of securities takes place and funds will be credited within t plus 2 days elimination of fraud cases and bad deliveries as i told you fraud cases are eliminated the duplicate of share certificates cannot be done in the present dematerialized form of trading bad deliveries will not happen then reduce brokerage cost as i explained the depository participant reduced the brokerage cost because uh, the uh, burden on him is reduced paperless work filing system is reduced everything is uh, computerized so he reduce the brokerage cost also and re reduce the risk of loss and damage of physical certificate in case if uh, the shares are kept by the investor in physical certificate chances of losing might be there or damage of certificate might be there see for example your grandfather uh, ask your father if they buy any uh, physical shares 20 years 25 years uh, they have to keep uh, somewhere and um, uh, in between because it's a long it's very long time you may change your home from one place to another place transfer may happen then you may lose your shares you may misplace your shares it's very difficult to find out your shares or uh, your shares may damage it's very difficult to see uh, on whose name the shares are bought what is the value Uh, how many shares you bought uh, it may not be clearly appeared the share may get damaged all these risks uh, may be there in the physical certificates but now everything is non physical dematerialized form has taken place the depository the depository system like nsdl or cdsl keep your 
shares in non physical form it is safe and years together you can keep your shares with them it will not be lost it will not be damaged and the fifth one eliminate stamp duty as i told there is no stamp duty now then sixth one facilitates transfer of dividends and other benefits not like before 20 years or 25 years if a company declared dividend then the dividend amount will be sent to you in the form of check you have to collect the check go to bank deposit and uh, uh the dividend will be credited in your account but nowadays uh, things are advanced uh, if any company declared dividends straight away the dividend amount will be credited in your bank account you need not take the check rush towards the bank manually deposit the uh, dividend check and collect the amount all these facilities are there now then the last one avoid blank transfer and binomi transactions there is no physical form of certificates in case if there is physical form of certificates the blank transfers were there binomi transactions were there blank transfer means an investor for example me uh, a share which is held in my name which is held in my name transfer to a b or c but i don't write their name the name is left blank that is called a blank transfer binomi for example uh, i have crossed together shares physical certificates crossed together uh, but i am not the owner of these physical certificates a politician for example a politician has bought these shares with black money and my name is written this is just an example my dear student friends okay i am a binomi this happens only in physical form of certificates in non physical dematerialized form such kind of things are totally avoided avoided blank transfers and binomi transactions so this is all about role and functions of depository system i hope you understand if you have any doubts you can put a comment in google classroom now this is the last topic in this video depository process let me explain this and end of this video a uh, depository process is the process of uh, converting converting the physical share into non physical share physical share bond or anything into non physical share non physical share this is the process here this figure explains this process for example my grandfather has uh, some physical shares i found these physical shares now physical shares cannot be sold it should be converted into non physical shares how should i convert this i cannot convert these physical shares into non physical as and when i want the stock exchange stock exchange has to issue the notification notification then only i can proceed for example i want to uh, start my phd course as and when i want i cannot go and register my name in the university i should wait until the university issue the notification then only i can register my name in phd i have to wait in the same way when i want to convert my physical share into non physical share i have to wait until stock exchange issue for the notification once the stock exchange issue for the notification this is the first step the process starts what should i do now i have to open the shareholder i am the shareholder i have to open account with the depository participant as i told the depository participant the depository participant will send these physical 
shares to a depository then the depository will send these uh, physical shares to registrar and transfer agent the registrar and transfer agent will verify he will verify whether the shares are in my name in this case these shares are in my grandfather i should produce all the relevant documents to registrar and transfer agent through depository and repository participant stating that i am the uh, true owner he is my grandfather i am the true heir of my grandfather after verification once it is proven then the depository participant will issue a statement of account to me and the physical shares will be converted into non physical shares and credited in my account this is the process of depository or depository process converting physical shares into non physical shares i hope you understand this video if you have any doubts you can post a comment in google classroom if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel do subscribe happy reading meet you in the next video with a new topic bye bye have a nice day